Anjana gives birth to Hanuman. Anjana was Hanuman's mother. There are many stories related to how Anjana gave birth to Hanuman. Anjana in her previous birth was an apsara named Punji Kashtala. A sage once cursed Punji Kashtala to be born on earth as a female monkey. You will be freed from the curse only after giving birth to an incarnation of Shiv. He added, Punji Kashtala was reborn as Anjana on earth and was married to Kesari, the king of monkeys. One day, Anjana was worshipping Shiv. On the other hand, King Dashrath of Ayodhya was performing a ritual to have children. Agni gave him a divine rice pudding to be shared among his three wives. However, an eagle grabbed a portion of the pudding and flew away. Meanwhile, the wind god blew the wind in the direction where Anjana was worshipping Shiv. The pudding fell into Anjana's palm and she consumed it. After some months, Anjana gave birth to Hanuman. Indra curses Punji Kastala. Another story related to the birth of Hanuman goes like this. Punji Kastala was a heavenly creature. Once, she visited a planet named Swaha, a planet beyond the pole star, as a tourist. She was very beautiful and Lord Indra fell in love with her. But Punji Kastala declined Indra's marriage proposal. She ridiculed him and said, how can I marry a person who has a thousand eyes? You are not a suitable groom to me. I deserve someone more handsome. Indra felt severely insulted. As Punji Kastala had ridiculed him in front of his ministers, he instantly cursed Anjana. You will pay dearly for your arrogance. You will be reborn on earth as a monkey named Anjana. Punji Kastala's friend, Adrika, could not bear what Indra said. She started yelling at Indra and mocked at him in a cat's voice. Indra became more offended and he cursed Adrika too. Go and be a cat in your next life. Kesri, a monkey king. Anjana was mesmerized by the man's muscular body. She thought the hermits might have called in someone powerful to aid them in waging a war on Sambasadan. Anjana decided to talk to the man, but he suddenly turned to face her. She was shocked. The man had a monkey's face. He behaves as a king, so he definitely must be the king of the monkeys of this forest, she thought. He spoke to Anjana in a powerful voice. I am Kesri. I believe you are also going to fight in this battle against the demon. I like your fearless nature. Anjana was filled with pride as she practiced with her weapon. You were also fighting the monster? That means you are a courageous man too, she said. Kesri made light of her comment with a laugh. I am the king of the monkeys. So, it is my duty to protect this ashram and its inmates. Kesri encounter Sambasadan. Anjana looked at Kesri in admiration. She was going to tell him about her dream of Shiv and Parvati when they heard a loud roaring sound. 
Anjana saw a gigantic demon charging towards the ashram. She understood that he was Sambhasana. She was also pretty sure that the demon would just stomp over everything in the hermitage if he entered the ashram. Kesri quickly picked his mace up and ready to attack Sambhasadan. Let us charge at him and lead him away from the ashram, he said. Both of them attacked Sambhasadan. A small army of monkeys too assisted them. Kesri fought magnificently but could not harm the demon. Before Kesri could even strike him, Sambhasadan would twist or turn himself away or take on a different form altogether. The monster had unbelievable mystical powers. For the first time, Kesri began to feel he might fail. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.